everyone, welcome ba- welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to use the um, the basics of how to use the Coral Painter Essentials Eight, um, which um, I use this Wacom tablet to control it. It's very easy. So now I'll I'll just show you guys the basics of how to do it. So. The first thing you want is to make sure that this is straight because if it's tilted, it's going to be very hard to draw because your eyes will be going one way, but the screen will be going like, but the drawing will be going another way because, yeah, um, that's just one thing. So notice that there are dots. Um, each corner dot re- represents the corner of the screen. Yeah. Um, the, also, the pen can be easily slid into here if you don't want it falling and breaking. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll open up, we'll open up the um, Coral Painter Essentials Eight. So we just go to, if you're on Windows, you just go to the Windows bar here to open up things, and then Coral Painter Essentials. It should show this and then load you into this thing. Um, once you X out this, you will you'll be you'll it'll take you to this blank screen. Um, this is something I was very confused over at first. Um, but what you really have to do is, and I'm using a Windows. You go to the files, but you go to the files button. So you go to the files button, you select, you select new, and then you can name it whatever you like here. Um, I'll just do a random drawing. And you can select whether it's portrait or landscape. A landscape means it's wider, um, and the kind and the kind of paper you would use to draw a landscape on. And portrait is like this. Um, we're just gonna go with landscape and press OK. Now, as you can see, you you'll be re- redirected to well, not really redirected, but it'll show you this blank canvas. And now it's time to draw. Over here, um, let's see, let's move the camera a bit. So, um, over here is where you can adjust your color. Um, here's a bar of random things like the brush, um, uh, the what, uh, what kind of brush you're using, the eraser, the text, the bucket, all the things like that. So we're just gonna go with a black drawing, and um, I think we might we might change the pen. So um, here, up here, will be the brushes you've already used, like the re- your recent ones. Um, and there's a whole column of different brushes. So we'll just go to chalk, pastel, and crayon, which is down here, and then we'll get a soft charcoal. Now we now we can just do some stuff. Um, I'm just gonna erase this. Um, for the eraser, you have a choice of this kind of eraser. Oh, sorry, everyone. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this kind of eraser and this kind of eraser, and you can pick the size. So we're just gonna go back to the. We're just going to go back to the brush um, and turn down the size. Um, okay, wait, I'll show you guys how, what it looks like when you do this. And then we will turn down the size of this. And then we'll turn it to maybe around there. And then now we can work on a drawing. I really like drawing people, so we're just going to do a very random sketch. So as you can see, um, if I press very hard, like 
really hard, what will come up is a very hard line, like this. Do you notice how this is a lot harder than this? Now let's back that. But if we but if we press softer, then the lines will be a lot softer. So we can just do this. As you can see, this is a lot like a real drawing, um, and you can, and it's very sensor sensor based. So you you can have a lot of stuff that you can do um, here. Okay, now this is one of the more confusing bits, but here is where we can control the layers. The layers basically we can click this button to add a new layer um and we can so um wait let me add let me quickly add a new layer and then you can see um now we have another layer so we can just go we can actually go and move well we can't with only two two layers the canvas and the layer because the canvas is always at the bottom which is why you want to do your soft sketch on it we will quickly delete the layer with the trash button and then uh, is it working? okay now we just have the canvas and we can keep doing stuff um this is not really like a drawing tutorial it's just really how to oh my god oh <laughs> um you can adjust the size of this just make sure that you're at you're at the thing that you can adjust and then you turn it down um it can be small or big and you can move it around so yeah um when you're done you don't want to lose your nice drawing so we go back over to file and then we click save as this is on a windows remember um it's pretty similar on a map as well i think uh, charcoal human let's just name this one charcoal human human okay we're done so now we just save it and then now we just exit out um it always comes up with this tab you just click yes and it asks if you want to cancel so that is basically how you use the coral painter essentials eight at least the very basics um if you want to see a further tutorial or see how how to do a good drawing on it please leave that in the comments below um, and I will definitely prioritize that. So, um, that, as you, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.